Hi everybody, this is Alex Honor from Rundeck. Today I wanted to show you some integration between Rundeck and Docker. So um, in Docker, of course, you're going to be starting containers and managing containers, doing stuff to containers, and I want to show you how you, how you can do that with Rundeck. So I've got a few jobs here that uh, let me show off some, some new plugins. Uh, first one I'm going to show you here is this one here called Run an Image. So Imagine that you wanted to provide a little cell service to start up a container, given an image. Um, I'm just going to quickly edit this job to show you some of the things that, of course, you might want to do when you start a, an image. Here's a step plugin and all different kinds of inputs to how to run an image. If you've ever run uh, Docker from the command line, which you probably have, you can recall all the many flags that are possible to set. and um, you know, if you're not that in tune with the Docker CLI, you might not remember them all or know which valid choices you could pick for something or, or another. So this is nice just from a user experience standpoint. Um, some of this could be uh, templated, you know, you don't have to show this to all the users, but it shows you the, all the inputs to running an image. Uh, I'm just gonna cancel out of that really quickly and, and show you how that looks. Now, I don't have to run a command, but I, I'm going to, just so we can see it hang around for a while. I'm gonna have it run the sleep 60 command. So when it runs this image, which is a Debian image, um, we can look at the container that gets created. So there it is, it's running. I'm gonna flip over here to the nodes page. And over here, we've got some, we've got a couple of Docker containers. You can see here, uh, the one that uh, I just started, Sleep, um, has a bunch of data about it. This is essentially the data that you would see if you ran docker inspect command on that container. It doesn't have all of the data that comes back from docker inspect, but you know we could add more if we wanted. Uh, but some of this stuff would be important, especially maybe this IP address. Um, other details could be added here that your jobs might want to, to know. So this is actually showing another plugin, uh, which is a model source plugin that lets us find out what the running containers are and then list them in this view. So that's another thing there. I'm going to go back to the jobs page. Um, another example of, of just doing that ad hoc would be to run this command. And it's basically just dumped out the state of, of those containers. It's using... Um, another plugin called a, a node executor plugin so we can do things to uh, these running containers now and to make that point um, let's go here and run a command so if you ever run docker exec against a running container because you needed to look what's going on inside of it maybe you're still developing this container or maybe it's a a container that's a long running thing you know not all containers are just kind of like a microservice sometimes people are porting long running applications to run in a container. You might want to do something inside that running container. Um, here I'm just going to run the ls command and um, and there it is. So you can see here it's just ran the ls in the container. Here's all the stuff in the root file system. So that could be useful maybe in testing uh, your, your container while it's operational. So that's just a quick little demo of, of Rundeck and Docker integration. Containers can become nodes. You could um, do things like run the inspect on a node or um, even execute things like uh, an ad hoc command inside a node. If you're interested to, to join in and, and look at these uh, plugins, come here to the Rundeck plugin slash docker org. You can see here's uh, the source code. Um, welcome your, your input and your collaboration and uh, look for a pull request. Thanks.